John Jenkins. Up until this point, I think his story has been largely untold. Even from John himself, has been very guarded. Had it not been discussed at this length and based on 15 years of sort of increasing trust, this was a subject which would have been lost to history. John was a very committed member of Her Majesty's forces, and for what I gather, was perfectly happy within that role. Nonetheless, there is a feeling within John's mind that the voice of Wales is being ignored, such as the controversy surrounding the flooding of Cwm Trewerin. That is Wales exercising its democratic voice, and yet having exercised its opposition, its voice is ignored anyway. It left people believing, well, how else do we, as a nation, protect our natural resources and our assets? Out of the anger of the flooding of the valley emerged two groups. The Free Wales Army, which is very publicity orientated with this campaign of propaganda. And then you have the much more militant and audacious Midi Adam Diffin Cambry, or Mac as they're more commonly known. And John Jenkins is invited to a meeting with two senior members of the group and subsequently takes control. He begins this militant campaign by Midi Adam Diffin Cambry which begins in September 1967. Mac uh, is responsible for some 20 explosions, both in Wales and just over the border in England. I felt there was room here for proper considered, sort of nuanced, if you like, analysis into this campaign. I felt it had never been looked at and analysed with the due attention that it deserved. I wrote a thesis which became a PhD, which was um, passed in 2011, Militancy in Wales, 1952 to 1970. And out of that came Hounds Off Wales, which was published by Gomer in 2013. I still felt there was, there was far more work to be done. This is a far more personal account of John's life, his emotional journey. This man who's, who's a brushed and polished member of Her Majesty's forces and a proud serving member of Her Majesty's forces, and yet he's leading this very other, different life. And I wanted to capture that. What led this man to do what he did? And I think these areas have been comprehensively covered in The Reluctant Revolutionary. My father was a policeman at the time, and part of his duties was to, to patrol the pipelines in mid Wales between Cumhelan and Birmingham, looking for explosive devices, which ultimately John Jenkins had assembled. Um, and my life could have been entirely different. My father could have been severely injured, could have been blown to smithereens. And so I was interested in the man behind the bombing campaign. Who was the man who had put these devices together? It's interesting to see in John's life and how much his own childhood has affected his own sort of emotional journey and I can understand the impact that had on me as a 20 year old learning that and how then I was drawn to the subject and decided had my dad received a significant injury or worse my life could have panned out in a, in a very different way so history and people's lives are affected by other people's lives and so that was the role I felt as a historian I wanted to present to the reader. The term reluctant revolution, I think, uh, it was well coined by uh, Wayne, and uh, it's, it's one that fits the situation admirably. And uh, it is true enough uh, what, what he says there. Uh, uh, and factually, it's as, as true as it can be. Win Thomas is, in fact, a beaver after the truth. He wants the truth. He wants a book not just to entertain, but to instruct. And he wants you to know that when you read his books and read his researches, you are reading the result of a lot of research, a lot of good research. He's noted for the depth of his research and the, the amount of problems he would go to to get it right every time. Because there's always two sides to every story and to fully understand what's happening, you've got to know these two sides. And I must say that uh, Wynne has in fact explored both sides of this question, so you will then have a greater understanding of what was achieved and what was tried to be achieved.